Hello, welcome you all to this video. This is the video about how to grow a microgreen using tissue paper or hydrophonics without soil, soilless cultivation. So this is microgreen, the plant which is very tender, we can consume either raw or in the form of salads or in the form of cooked food or we can prepare methi roti something like this so it's good for diabetics and intestinal functioning so this is one of the uh, highest nutrient value uh, plant that is microgreen today after 36 hours let us transfer the sprouts to the tissue or hydrophonics so for that we need to start taking a bowl or box like this plastic silver ceramics any sort of vessel or bowl plate anything we can take so we can spread the tissue paper one layer second layer i want to give so if you wish to have one layer is also okay two layers is also okay so after keeping the tissue papers double layer spread it now ready that's all now we need to fill this sprouts little 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 we need to spread everywhere now it will become a plant within 8 days to 10 days we can use it for cooking purposes we need to sprinkle water every two hours once it should not get dry the sprouts if it becomes dry then the plant will be unhealthy if the plant needs to be fresh enough so we need to keep sprinkling water on this sprout sprouts it should not dry the sprout never it should dry such way that we need to take care completely transferred we can sprinkle the water either you can use sprayer or very gentle sprinkling every two hours once we need to do especially two hours once sprinkling is essential first few days later on once if it becomes little bigger plants then we can easily we can reduce sometime the water also can become stagnant it's not an issue. Now I am going to sprinkle the water. Each day, 5 minutes or 10 minutes, we can keep it in the sunlight. Either morning sunlight or evening sunlight. Now water is sprinkled using the sprayer. So it should not dry. The sprout should not dry. So we can sprinkle especially the microgreen period what i am showing on this video is summer so we need to keep sprinkling every one hour once or two hours once especially the first three days care is more essential for the healthy microgreens you can use this or gentle you can sprinkle using your hands either way so now the sprinkling even tissue becomes wet is also no issue then you can cover with a cloth or you can cover with this plate little aeration should go that's it either this box you can cover with a cotton cloth like this or you can cover with this kind of either you can cover with this cotton cloth wet cloth or you can cover with this cover little bit aeration should be there that's it after transferring the sprouts to the tissue paper 24 hours got over the day one of the growth there are few seeds have come with the petals green color petals you can notice there are few green petals started that the original seed will become two first two petals so many seeds started with the petals this is day one growth 
so another 8 day, days to 10 days we need to look at we need to keep sprinkling the water before drying it it may be 2 hours once 3 hours once or hourly once depending upon the weather we can see the growth day 2 after transferring the sprouts to the tissue paper this is the growth you can notice lot of petals have come out two leaves the basic seed becomes the green petals the first two petals are seed today is the day three of the growth the sprout growth is little faster so from today onwards it will grow very faster after three four days within eight to ten days we can start consuming we can cook it or we can eat this is day fourth of the growth it at the height of the plant exceeded the box uh, the growth is faster now and i don't know how to cover and how to safeguard sometimes we can keep it open but uh, two two hours once we need to sprinkle the water if we keep it open let us see the growth of the sixth day all the petals have come out but the cap we need to remove otherwise the petals may not able to come out today it is day 8 growth it has come very well past three days rainy season here so the growth rate is lesser but it looks fresh so tomorrow the recipe is going to be started this microgreen growth will be one of the best habit so because of this habit we will feel happy engaged and we can learn about how the plants are growing and it is one of the good practice to have and uh, the food becomes healthier and we feel happier these are all the personal benefits beyond that we can learn something how the sprouting germination the rate of growth etc and every week i will be exploring with the rest of the other seeds how it is growing like a coriander seed chana dal these all so the delicious recipe we can prepare out of this we can eat this raw just we can take one plant this is the plant we can take this is the root very tender if it becomes more than 10 days we cannot chew this the fiber formation will become more so this tender from root to the leaf we can eat how much bigger the size so i will show tomorrow how i am cleaning it and how i am taking it out how much growth every plant is of this much bigger size including the root we can cook and we can eat so either we can eat raw this raw eating will be healthy to the intestines and diabetic patients so this is one of the best practice to have it in your diet without cooking and with the cooking without cooking will give more benefits with the cooking maybe lesser benefits so but it is healthy to eat so maybe every day whenever we are eating roti we can have five to ten plants in every bite of our chewing and raw also we can eat it is not bitter very uh, easy to eat and tasty to eat it's very delicious to eat even the raw and we can prepare using this a salad and we can prepare sabjis if you wish you can use a comment window if you are in need then i can share the post the recipe how i am preparing out of this all microgreens thank you for watching thank you all today the ninth day of this growth going to harvest this so how it looks let us see if you look at this this is how the root and the entire plant looks let me transfer to the plate and show you this is how it looks the seed whichever had gone downside little bit rotten we need to clean it up the tissue we need to clean it up and that rotten seeds we need to clean it up then it is ready for eating either raw or cooking usually the moment the leaves started every day 10 20 plants i used to eat raw